hatched. Okay, you see that vortex inside? They work just fine. That yellow stuff is a gold plated wires and the gold and uh, plastic. finished you'll see what's happened now we just took the little brush this uh, use uh, for the hair painting and uh, just remove back from the center all that gold Start again washing. And, uh, remove all that left plastic. water and remove the uh, I'll show you my next procedure so you don't need to bother with uh, this little plastic pack holders okay we kill the water and look at that I remove all the water Okay, now we collect uh, all that uh, remain gold wire in the jar and uh, look at that. You see that gold layer? So we put this uh, to vaporize, remove water and we drop inside some hydrochloric acid but uh, first we must remove water and I keep all that black sand because uh, still some little gold inside but uh, Maybe a process one day when I build something better from blue ball. And okay, we go to the next step. Okay, now we move. We are remove all water. So we got this one. This is the gold bonding wires and plastic just a little bit plastic this is the old contact from the bowl now we use hydrochloric acid HCl so I used uh, 200 uh, 200 deciliter HCl and I use just one cup copper chloride to start reaction.
I don't use peroxide anymore. So, okay. That is B. Oh. We just want to see what we got here. So we left a couple of days, two or three days, that that uh, acid eats all the base metal, and we proceed next step to refine that gold. Okay, this is the place when I work. It's outside, so nothing much, but is practical okay see you for three days okay I after two days I uh, put him on a heat uh, this is my heat source and uh, when you use the jar like me, uh, you need uh, another dish to catch your acid and your gold if your jar accidentally be broken. So we let this day to tomorrow. Uh, I put some heat on every couple of hours. Turn and off. So let's see tomorrow. Okay, now, now um, after three days it's uh, finished. Uh, the acid is eat all the base metal. So the now we'll uh, we will filtering this through the filter, just in case that uh, we will some gold when we remove acid. We keep it that filter for the next process, and uh, okay, because I cannot uh, take the shot with my uh, phone at the same time. Uh, when I filter in this, uh, we go to the next step. Okay, we filtering AP solution. Uh, we keep. Uh, this solution for some other time to process maybe some hard HDD drives and uh, uh, we keep the filter uh, we take him uh, with another filters when we do some acid leach method and now we left with this so you see it's a lot uh, plastic in there but uh, when you see that gold layer and it's important that uh, no more copper wire inside no iron or copper wire so now we go to the next steps but uh, I need to put my gas mask for this because uh, we dissolve that gold from that black sand uh, with uh, believe or not acid and bleach method I know some of you guys uh, will tell me come on man bleach cannot dissolve uh, bonding wire because uh, it's too fat it's too solid but uh, believe me he can't uh, just you need to be a patient and uh, you can add, you can cannot add all the acid at the same time. You need to go step by step. So we will see what happen. Okay, uh, I will put my mask and I return for the minute. Uh, this filter uh, contains the little amount of gold uh, from uh, some uh, the base metal 
which uh, which uh, be gold plated and uh, what uh, what I want to say uh, you notice that I don't wear it the gloves because uh, believe me I not I am not guy with uh, sensitive skin and a little HDL is not bothering me at all but uh, for the acid and bleach method I will use gloves or, or gas mask so we go to the next step okay just to be that you be sure that I wearing all that uh, safety equipment but this is my gas mask so now we add some HDL and uh, bleach for the next step.